What is poppin'? My name is Brennan Myers, and today we're gonna be getting into two minor cues, but yet two minor cues that are so freaking important for you and your strength gains within your chest. All right, so when we talk about these two minor cues, remember, they're not just minor, they're major, yet very small things that you're probably not doing. So, let's get into it. You take your hand, right? Regular push-up. Actually, let's get into a push-up. When we go into a push-up position, you'll notice, you know, your hands should be about shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit further out, maybe a little closer, whatever you're trying to do, let's just go for a regular push-up here, right? Your core is gonna be tight. It's the most important for your push-up, remember that. Your butt's gonna be squeezing as hard as possible and you're gonna be squeezing your legs. Remember, this is not only a chest exercise, this is a full body exercise. Well, bam, you already know. So, we're gonna get in this push-up position and you'll notice, actually you might not notice, but I'm gonna go down, okay? Boom, perfect push-up, keeping my chin back and everything, neutral spine, squeezing my glutes, squeezing in my abs. But what am I doing that's different? There's two things. Number one, and this is huge, 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 so you never put your shoulder at risk. Remember, your infraspinatus, your teres minor, your supraspinatus, and your subscap, those four muscles make up your rotator cuff, and you do not want to hurt yourself. So, what do you do? Well, you don't have your shoulders flaring out, or your um, arms flaring out too much. So you're not gonna be coming down here like this. That already puts a lot of strain on my bicep tendon and all those rotator cuff muscles. You also don't want them to be too close. There was a girl that I was training today where she was all the way close here. Again, this is gonna put strain on muscles you do not want and ligaments you do not want. So we're gonna go right into the middle of that portion right there. It's about like a 30 degree angle here. And if you notice, it's not too close, it's not too wide flared out right in that position. So that's cue number one. I guarantee you, you start doing push-ups like that, not only will you increase your reps, but you will get stronger and more explosive even quicker. And number two, this is the biggest, biggest mistake I see people not using in their push-up, making sure you're putting your weight towards the middle of your hand and squeezing your fingertips into the ground like so. So, wide stance, everything's tight, squeezing in that core, keeping that chin tucked, tightening even your back muscles because your back muscles are gonna be working as well. And as you come down, I'm not coming back and I'm not coming too far forward for my wrist to get hurt. I am literally going straight down, squeezing into the ground as much as possible. Notice my elbows, everything's here, squeezing, 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 middle of my hand and coming right back up. If you do those two small cues, I promise you on anything, and I'm gonna promise this, because I know it's right, you will see incredible results in your training, in your strength gains, your power gains, and your muscles. So, hopefully you enjoyed those two tips. Now, I am going to start doing a lot more informational videos, so you want more stuff, comment down below. You like these type of videos, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Brendan Myers. We are killing the game every single day. Creative Fitness Academy, link in the description. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Peace.